where the body is. Look at that well right there, so. Welcome. If you're a new viewer here, be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel. The topics that we'll be discussing today, two security guards shot dead, police search for a gun used to kill six-year-old, decomposed body found in water tank, Maurice charge, plus several other updates. Two security guards were gunned down in separate incidents in the parish of St. James between Wednesday night and yesterday morning. The deceased has been identified as 34-year-old Jermaine Myrie of John's Hall and 23-year-old Sadine Lester of Crawford Street in St. James. Police reported that about 7.15 a.m. yesterday, Lester went to dispose of garbage on a heap in his community when he was attacked and shot by unknown gunmen. He was taken to nearly by Cornwall Regional Hospital, where he was pronounced dead. Up to last night, investigators had not yet established a motive for his attack. They fall up in the middle of his head, Missy. I miss the team, said, Why look at your cow fight me? And where they go? He said, Miss, who come and he grew on the back of the house and he come back and he come back. He said, Why you look at the piece of wire to start the car? And his girlfriend called him and he said to me, say, Mama, you have no rings? And I said, yes. He said, give me. He said, tell Sherika, I said, throw me the back because I want it. And he said to me, say, all right, Mama, later. I me not see him again. I can't explain the feeling because he wasn't someone who gives trouble. It, you know, it sort of shocked me right now because I have two sons. And I would say he's the better one with behave. <laughs> and about 10.20 Wednesday night, Mary was sitting outside his house at John's Hall when he came under attack by a group of men. He ran inside the house where he was followed by his attackers who shot him multiple times. Police who went to the crime scene said that Mary's bullet riddled body was found lying in a pool of blood. Detectives probing the killing of Mary have also not determined the motive for his killing. The death of the two security guards bring the number of recorded murder in St. James Police Division since the start of the year to 66, which is 24 more than the 22 recorded for the same time period last year. The St. James Police have named Emram Pilliner, a person of interest in relation to an incident in which a woman was reportedly dosed with flammable substance and set ablaze at Great River Anova yesterday. Pilliner is being asked to surrender to the police immediately. Reports are that about 5 p.m. the woman and a man had an altercation at the business establishment when the man in rage reported left and returned with flammable substance, which he allegedly used to commit the grievous assault on the woman. The woman who engulfed by flames managed to escape from the burning building with assistance of residents who took her to the hospital where she underwent treatment. I remember they have a mother and when they do this thing they must pay for it, put to justice. Oh, we can't feel good if we know our neighbor. Over there something living in man. So it, it, as I wake up and mama, I see cross the road. You see it? Jenny, yeah. yeah. She's very yeah, loving. Loving. So, Everyone we are so going to feel it. She's a hustler. Right now I mind the man when I fire to car. The man light him and run gone. And the man can't find it. Viewers and subscribers, words in the street is that this fire was allegedly started by a little boy who had an altercation with the owner of the business. We don't know how true that is. But we still are sitting in our seat and our world tight because we don't understand how them say a woman man do it and now we are here two different information from residents. So we don't have to go down in that yet until we know say I say it go for true. But we don't see why the police them not really pity them little young boy when them see them on the street and sometimes when them get slapped or we sorry for them or we ball for them or we go on the most way. 95% of the time you know them like a teen boy yeah, them do innocent you know them not innocent not one bit and as I start to talk about the teen them I have a good one update on the teen who shot and killed his six year old relative in Westmoreland investigators assigned to the Westmoreland police division are working around the clock to retrieve the gun used in the killing of a six year old boy earlier this week 
the accused teen, who is now in police custody, remains tight lip regarding how he acquired the weapon. The weapon used in Monday fatal shooting incident was an illegal firearm. There are questions surrounding where it came from and how the accused teen came in possession of it. According to the head of Westmoreland Police Division, Superintendent Robert Garden, the 15-year-old who is now in police custody is not saying much. Adults must be involved with that weapon not being retrieved. But we are going at it. We are um, interviewing other persons. We are in the community, we are on foot, we are talking, and we are pressing the parents that, 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 that we, we need the weapon. Superintendent Garden believes the shooting could have been prevented. Persons in the community would have indicated after the incident that they saw the bigger boy with the gun walking up and down within a bag mm -hmm. before the incident, and nobody chose to call his parents or the police. No one. So it's like it's accepted. And there are communities in Jamaica, unfortunately, that accept these things. Resident says the teen and the infants were arguing when explosion were heard. It was then they discovered the lifeless body of the six-year-old. The police, however, given a different account on what transpired. The six-year-old and the three-year-old, they were out there running up and down making noise. As you hear, one of the adults who were there... And she tell him to stop, stop the knife. That boy, the elder one, was there with the, with the gun, playing around with the gun. As a, in his one word, he said to somebody that he, he was there with the gun, and he selected one in the bridge. And when he was leaving the yard, the gun fired off, and, and, and him here, the little boy, ball and him run. In commenting on the incident, children advocate Miss Harrison says the lack of proper parental supervision is a major concern. Where we have uh, children who are, you know, in situations that are vulnerable or have the potential to become vulnerable, then there is an issue because we all know that we have a commitment to not only keep children safe, but to ensure that their environment is not something that will morph into what could be a challenge. And so if the reports are accurate, then there would be that need for concern. Decomposed body found in water tank. Look for them dead body vibes. Clock of each of them. <laughs> No dark. <laughs> show you when you show a stream. Look at journey is. So the body is up at that well right there, so This is a climb up one man. Put the foot right this one. Go. This is your opposite. Twenty-seven year old Maris Campbell, otherwise called a son, a farmer of New Arbor Village in St. Catherine, who was listed as wanted on May 12, is now behind bars. Kim was wanted in relation to a murder of 65-year-old Matthew Ringling, otherwise called George, who was reportedly shot dead about 2.45 a.m. in his community of Fargans Drive in Kingston on Sunday, January 24, 2021. The police said that his arrest brings to four the number of wanted men arrested since the start of the Jamaica Constabulary Force Wanted Wednesday campaign. The police said Campbell turned himself in along with his attorney on Tuesday, May 13. Following an interview, he was charged with murder and illegal possession of firearm and ammunition, the police said.